How can we expand the boundaries of our mind? Just as the new year always represents a beginning and an opportunity to make new dreams come. True, it pays to visualize this week just as it is. The energies that started today encourage us to dream. However, what is meant by daydreaming is not want, don't want, intentions. Dreaming is actually the process of creating a new one for yourself. It is seeing yourself in the future where you want to see yourself. The impossible is to dream that whatever you think can happen. It is the process of discovering practical approaches to the things that make your life difficult. It is the power to build the future in the present. It is visualizing the future in the present. Or convincing the mind of the possibilities of the future. I say either to animate or to persuade. Because the way the mind sees the heart, self goes along with design features varies with each person's design. In some design structures, the mind reaches the self by imagining, imagining. While in some design structures, the mind reaches the self when it is convinced. If someone did not dream in this direction, then the modern world cannot be created today. Because the human being is the most enchanting design of all and has no end. He focuses on development as a gigantic structure to be discovered. For six days, including today, you can take some time for yourself and revitalize your outer world within your inner world. Or you can create desires that convince yourself that you can remake your outer world. In fact, you do this all the time. But only this time you can take advantage of the amazing opportunities to be able to do it. Consciously and wholeheartedly. Any idea how to always do this? Girl's face. Or, hurrah. We have done, do. And do always the fantasies and practices produced after each inner perception begins with the. Strong vibrations of the genre. Let's imagine more conscious, constructive more loving and conscious creations beyond logic together this time. Girl's face. When we get to the point, long live. Let's find your side. For fear and panic are the beginnings of the greatest creations. Just as powerful creations like love and enthusiasm can be the beginning. The biggest reason not to change anything in your life is to focus on the negative. It also includes axes such as getting rid of fears, facing the past, healing and forgiveness. Because behind these intentions are negative and they are old. However, man evolves, changes and transforms with the new. Whatever we spend our energy, thoughts, and actions on, we grow old. For this reason, unless we look beyond memories and the information that hides behind intentions, what is, as it is, will appear again and again like an avalanche that keeps on growing. In some verbs, temporary relief can be obtained by allowing different constructions of the mind. But we cannot say that it is complete rest because the only thing that changes are the mental constructions on the same path. The important thing is to change course. Moreover, the method is different for each of us. And it is impossible for anyone other than a person to figure out this method. So I say this. We have to realize that we go through our own choices in every moment. In every place, in every way. As the way of life, the shape of the heart. The pattern of the mind, and the shape of the soul progress in a radical change. It is our duty to turn away from old fears and cling to the old knowledge and move towards the new. It all starts and ends with me. Everything is fine with me or it is not beautiful. The principle applies to all of us. Now before us is a great influx of time and energy. Where we can create entirely new creations that go beyond all previous creations. Which would you choose? To think about and improve the negatives in your life. Or to renew and practice your life from scratch? It's never difficult, the mind has its limits. Now is the time to push the boundaries of the mind. There would be no such thing as technology in our lives today. 
if no one pushed the boundaries of the mind to the top of making your life functional. You can expand your mind from the logical dimension to the dimension of desire. Desire what you dream to happen in your world. Because creativity is desire, and desire is defining what you need. Determining what you need is beyond reason. Why do we always need something in our lives? We needed it because we live in a changing and developing world. What would life mean if everything remained the same? It is necessary for life to have meaning and to expand, develop and progress. Not lacking, but needy. Perhaps finding ways to make life more practical would be a more enlightened definition. Because the need requires food such as the seed. However, it turns green as it is fed, blooms as it grows green, and bears fruit when it blooms. In its simplest form, this week we are planting seeds that will germinate and grow year-round. With our feet firmly on the ground. I have tried to use some key phrases from different points of view in my article to inspire you, and I wish you interesting creations in the hope that you will sow the seeds of your own colorful and delicious fruits in the future today, and that you are. Remove it from your daily routine. If your vision doesn't make you jump out of bed in the morning, you need a new vision. The secret of the future is hidden in the daily routine, and the desire is a form of planning. Nolan Hero. The quantum field does not respond to what we want, it responds to what we are on it. There is pressure to be happy as human beings, but no one can be completely happy either. There seems to always be a tendency to look across the fence at the next wish. Today, this structure appears to serve no other function than mass weight. Or does it seem so to me? Now, do you need to expand the boundaries of the mind to take full control of your life? Or are you really just being in the present, often lamenting something in the past? Afraid that the past will repeat itself? or imagining the future without delving into desires. Now every reader will find this for himself.